in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch on any firmware um, as of uh, August 28th. And um, the new tool just came out called WinPone 2.5, which is claimed to be the latest and greatest of them all. And um, I'm just going to make a tutorial on how to do that here. And um, so first, we're going to need to download it. I'm uh, downloading that right now. And um, it's almost done. I'll uh, show you what to do next when it's done. So uh, get your iPod ready and uh, let's start jailbreaking. Okay, hey there, guys. Um, my download has finished, and this is the WinPone 2.5 beta version just released a few hours ago. I will provide a download link to it in the window. Um, I mean, not the window, the video description, and uh, you should just download it there. It's 19 megabytes. shouldn't take uh, a long time to download it unless you have dial-up. Okay, so now we're going to hit the open button, or if you're not using a download manager, then just double-click it to open. We're going to extract it, and I'm just going to put it at my desktop so it can uh, be more a convenient place to reach. Okay, so it's done extracting. I'm going to exit out of WinRAR now. Okay, so it's done extracting. I'm going to exit out of WinRAR now. And now there it is, WinPone 2.5. And this is the GUI version. It has a really nice graphic user interface, just like Pwnish Tool for Mac. And um, I'm kind of excited to doing this. Let's double click that. And there's the amazing installer. And now, before you install this, make sure that you uninstall any previous versions of WinPone at all. Any previous versions. So I'm just going to check here. Everything looks good. So we're just going to start, hit next. Choose if you want desktop shortcuts. I'm just going to hit next and install. You'll see a readme file pop up. Just uh, close that after you've read it, of course. Now that's done, we're going to hit finish. And uh, let's start it up. So we're going to hit WinPone here. And let's watch it start up. And there it is, WinPone. And there it is, WinPone 2.5. And, um, wow, the graphic user interface is really nice. Um, so as you can see, it has support for iPhone 3G, iPod Touch, or the iPhone 2G. And um, just choose the one you want. I'm going to just ch click iPod Touch here because that's the one I have. And now we just need to select our firmware. I'm on 2.0.2. .2. And uh, once that's checked, we're going to hit Next. And uh, yes, we are, or else YouTube won't work. And I'm just going to choose No here. But if you hit yes, you can actually choose browse and choose your own boot logo instead of the boring silver apple. WinPone is automatically searching for your firmware, so you don't have to uh, browse and find it. It's actually, you can actually find it inside the uh, iTunes folder, which is um, somewhere. Okay, so now it's building the custom IPSW file. And um, this is how easy it is. All you need to do is a few clicks and you can jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone. Um, that's a really amazing. CMW has done a great job on this program. And um, right, right now we're just weeding out all the bugs. And once that's all done, we'll have a really good jailbreaking process. Because WinPone is the future of jailbreaking. So uh, I'm just going to be right back when this is done. Okay, so at this point, it's going to ask me, do you want to view the instructions on how to DFU mode? I have a video on how to enter DFU mode, and um, uh, the video is in my channel, which you can just click there. Or you can just view it right now. So I'm just going to show it to you right now. Okay, so we're going to go hit next. The DFU helper will instruct you to connect your device to USB and turn it off. So if you're not... Uh, okay. Do so if you've not already connected. Turn off. Okay, so you now you have to connect your iPod Touch to computer, um, and then turn it off. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, my laptop has detected my iPod. iTunes is gonna pop up. I'm just gonna cancel here. I'm waiting for iTunes.
Okay, so iTunes has detected my iPod. I'm just going to close it and uh, stop it from syncing. So we're just going to close that. Close iTunes. Quit. And now, on your iPod Touch, we're going to go ahead and just turn it off. So, I'm turning it off. Okay, now, uh, when Pwn says it's good, it's ready to start poning. Now, uh, make sure all your data is backed up and everything right now. And uh, hit OK. Four, three, two, one, zero. Now press and hold it. Now we hold it again. Hold the power button, home button down. Now keep on holding the power button. There we are, and it's done. Okay, so um, on your iPod, it should say ready to restore custom IPSW. And uh, now all we need to do is um, use iTunes. So we're just going to wait for, just open up iTunes here. Okay, so now, once iTunes is open, we're just going to restore, shift, click, restore. And um, the custom firmware that... Uh, Winpone just made will be located in your My Documents folder, and just to do to um, to restore to that, we're just going to hold the Shift key down, hold the Shift key down, and click Restore. Now in My Documents, there it is, Custom iPod, and um, make sure it says Custom, or else you'll just restore to uh, the factory one. And just we're going to go Open, and Apple iTunes will restore your iPod to a jailbroken state complete with Cydia and installer. And after that, you can um, enable SSH, install third-party applications, skin your iPod Touch, do a lot of things you could before you could uh, jailbreak it. And um, so that's basically it. After it's done, um, hopefully, if you don't get any errors, you'll have jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone. Okay, so uh, congratulations, you've made it through with this process. Um, iTunes is successfully restored, and um, I don't have it. I didn't get any errors at all, so you know, it was a smooth restore for me. And now, there it is, show broken, 2.0.2, the latest firmware as of August 28th. There it is, City and Installer. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if this video helped you. Any problems, put in the comments below. Please um, subscribe again. Oh, I'm trying to build up a subscriber list. And um, I make at least three or four videos a week. And um, I will keep on doing that until I get uh, my subscribers back. Because um, so I just got hacked. So uh, thanks for watching again. And uh, okay, hey there. subscribe to this help.